This is in ECO July 2022 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 6A and the question asks to simplify the fraction and this fraction is involving the index the numbers. The numerator of that very fraction has uh, 3 multiplied by the bracket inside the bracket is 2 raised to the power of k plus 1 close the bracket minus 4 multiply by another bracket open inside is 2 raised to the power of k minus 1 then close the bracket the denominator of the fraction has 2 raised to the power of k plus 1 then minus 2 raised to the power of k this is the fraction asked to simplify so let's attempt to answer this very question together solution to the problem what you do first you copy the given text that is the fraction asked to simplify as this fraction involves index the number, so you look at it, you now think of applying the law of indices. If I look at my numerator, the index the number inside the bracket, it is 2 raised to the power of k plus 1. Remember when we add the powers, it means we are now multiplying those two index the numbers having the same base. So that is the law that I'm going to apply right now. So looking at the numerator of this very fraction, I can now apply the law. To rewrite it as uh, 3 inside the bracket uh, is now 2 raised to the power of k multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1. This is exactly the same thing as 2 raised to the power of k plus 1. So k plus 1 addition of the powers means multiplying the two index numbers 2 raised to k by 2 raised to 1. Similarly, the second bracket that contains 2 raised to the power of k minus 1. Subtraction of the power means the dividing the two index the numbers having the same base. So 2 raised to the power of k minus 1 is nothing but 2 raised to k divided by 2 raised to 1. Then coming to the denominator level, I will do the same also to this, so 2 raised to the power of k plus 1. So 2 raised to the power of k plus 1 will now be 2 raised to the power of k multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1. And then I copied this minus 2 raised to k. So we continue. Look at the numerator here. I can now expand these two brackets by multiplying by what is outside. So you are going to have a 3 times 2 raised to k times to 2 raised to 1, which is simply 2, minus which I copied, then 4 times the bracket also means 4 times 2 raised to k times to 2 raised to minus 1. I change this division to multiplication, but look at the power, what happened. Instead, 2 raised to 1 is now 2 raised to minus 1. It's like a division. You now change it uh, to multiplication, but you multiply by the reciprocal. Similarly, if I move down my denominator, 2 raised to k times 2 raised to 1, which I just copied, then minus 2 raised to k. So next, you now do you now check uh, both the numerator and the denominator if there is something that you can now factorize. So look at that, my numerator. If I take this as one term, this 3 times 2 raised to k times 2 as one term, and 4 times 2 raised to k times 2 raised to minus 1 as another term because they are separated by a subtraction sign here. So looking at this, what is common? That I can divide this term and this term will now be 2 raised to k and 2 raised to 1. This is what can divide these two terms without a remainder. So taking that out, you now have 2 raised to k times 2 in one bracket. Then in another bracket is result after dividing this the term by 2 raised to k and the 2. So that will leave you with this 3. And when you near divided the second term, that is 4 times 2 raised to k times 2 raised to minus 1. By this 2 raised to k and the 2, what will be left with is 2 times 2, 2 raised to minus 1. So Moving to my denominator, I have two terms also. 2 raised to k times 2 raised to 1 is one term. Then 2 raised to k is another term. Something is common also there, which is 2 raised to k. So I can take 2 raised to k outside. Then I have inside the bracket result dividing this the term by 2 raised to k. I'll be left with this to 2 raised to 1, which is to 2. And dividing 2 raised to k by 2 raised to k, you'll be left with 1. So we continue. So what you now do next is to simplify this second bracket at the numerator level, also this bracket at the denominator level. So this 2 times 2 raised to minus 1 simply will give answer 1, and the 3 minus 1 will give answer 2. 
Similarly, 2 minus 1 will give answer 1. So there you now have uh, copying the first bracket to raise to k times 2. There you have 2. That is a result of simplifying this very bracket is what gives you this 2. Similarly, the simplification of this bracket at the denominator level, that is 2 minus 1, is what gives you this 1. So you can now just expand this bracket. That is 2 raised to k times 2 times 2. So you now have, uh, can see it clearly, 2 raised to k times 2 times this very 2. Look at it. Then divided by 2 raised to k times 1, the one inside this very bracket. So you can see 2 raised to k will cancel this 2 raised to k. What you will be left with is 2 times 2, which gives you 4, divided by this one, which in the end will now be 4. So simplify the form of this very fraction is now equals to 4. So let me just share with you how this question is now marked during the marking of this very paper. So the very first mark is the method 1 mark. And this method 1 mark is applying the law of indices uh, here in this the two brackets here at the numerator level. Applying that law of indices for multiplication and division of two index numbers is what gives you this method 1 mark. The next mark uh, is expanding the bracket that is uh, 3 times this bracket and 4 times this bracket is what gives you this uh, 1 mark in attempt to simplify further. The next mark is factoring at the numerator level, doing the factorization correctly. That is 2 raised to k times 2 in one bracket. Then the second bracket containing appropriate numbers is what gives you this method 1 mark. Then the next mark is another method 1 marker. When you reach this level of simplification, you have this method 1 mark. And when you now have 4 as your final answer, you have this accuracy 1 mark. So in total, this question has 5 good marks.